in this video, we're going to talk about how to connect a laptop to a projector while being really, really ridiculously good looking. I mean, how good looking? I think you can be this good looking at the beginning of your presentation. Now, what I see normally is a presenter hunched over their computer trying to solve something technical and trying to figure out how to get the image on the projector. It doesn't have to be that way. Let's go to Apple. Now, Apple is used by a majority of presenters, maybe because when you connect a projector, it just works. But you need to know a few more things. First of all, there's two display modes, mirrored and arranged. Which of the two should you use for presentations? Well, let's start with arranged. Now, arranged it is a display mode where you basically have like two screens and you can have two different images on the two screens. It means that your projector is like the ideal continuation to the right of your current display. Now, this is great because you can have two different images. So on your laptop, you want to have the presenter display. In this case, using Keynote, you get a display like this. You get a current slide, you get the next slide and the elapsed time from the beginning of your presentation. And this is really awesome for you not to bore your audience, not to go over time. Now, what your audience sees in full screen is just the current slide. Now with Keynote, it can happen that your presenter screen is displayed on the projector. Don't panic, think about the X men and press X and you're going to switch the presenter screen between your laptop and the projector. Now, how about the other display mode? The other display mode is mirrored and mirrored is awesome for demos. Whatever you see on your laptop screen is what your audience sees through the projector. All right. Now we have everything set up, but how do you switch between those two modes? It's really easy. You just use command and F1 to switch between those two modes. Remember the shortcut. You don't need to go into the control panel. Just press command F1. Now to get your slide full screen in Keynote and Keynote is made by Apple and Apple is the user experience company. You just have to press command, then the alt key and then P. Oh, and by the way, the alt key is shouldn't be called alt because it says alt on the key, but it's called the option key in Apple jargon. So command option P and don't call it alt because every time you call it alt, this man spends another day in the white room. All right, think about this man. Now, if you're using PowerPoint, the combination to put your slides full screen, it's easier, I think it's command shift and return. So command shift return. And after you do that, think about why you're using PowerPoint on a Mac. And maybe if you have an explanation to why you're using PowerPoint on a Mac, leave it in the comments, please, because you know, you have keynote and works perfectly on a Mac, why should you use PowerPoint? Anyhow, moving on, probably you're not going to use PowerPoint, you're not going to use keynote to give your presentation to deliver your presentation because you care about how your slides look. And in that case, you're going to use a PDF. If you're using a PDF, use command control F to have it full screen. Now, in preview on a Mac, you have a mode that it's called slideshow. That is your enemy because your slides will advance automatically. So always use command control F and go full screen. Great. Now let's go to the people that think different and they're using Windows to present something. Now Windows gives you a lot of control and with control comes confusion. You have way too many display modes. Let's look at them one by one. So when you connect a projector to a Windows laptop, what happens is that you get the first display mode, which is disconnected. And so you think, oh, nothing works. All right, thanks, Microsoft. The second mode is duplicated. So we just went through the Mac display modes. So it's like mirrored. So it's great for demos. The third mode is extend. So you get like in the arranged mode, you get two th different different images between what you see on your laptop and what is on the projector. 
And finally, there is what I call the panic attack mode, projector only. This is when your laptop goes dark and your panic attack goes 100%. Now, there is one key that allows you to switch between all these modes, that is Windows P. And it works with all the latest versions of Windows. But we all know we all have a different version of Windows. So what if Windows P doesn't work? Well, you can try with FN F4. It works for Samsung and also for HP laptops. Or you can try with FN F5, which is supposed to work with Acer. And if that doesn't work, try with FN F7, which is the designated key for IBM Lenovo laptops. And finally, if you're using a Dell, go for FN F8. Now, similarly, you're going to want to have your slides full screen. And how do you start your PowerPoint show with grace? Just one key, F5. You can really see that Microsoft is doing something for people who do presentations a really simple shortcut to get your slides full screen. Beautiful. F5. Remember this one. And if you're using a PDF, uh, probably you're opening it in Adobe Acrobat and there the combination is Control L. Now, whatever platform you're using, sometimes it's useful to temporarily blank the display. And to do that, you press B for black and you guessed it. W for white and your display goes completely black and completely white. I'm not going to do it here because in a video it looks really creepy. And don't forget the power cord. Your audience doesn't want to see a low battery warning. 